resource guide and my packing slips. So, okay, so it's going to be easier for me to go through all the foods once I lay them out on the table. I opened up the daily planner though so that I could look at it and show you guys. Um, in addition to the shelf stable foods from Nutrisystem, you also have to buy some things from the grocery store to round out your nutrition. Um, such as fruits, vegetables, and sometimes you're adding protein and stuff too. It could be as easy as a protein shake, or it could be eggs or fish or something like that. Alright, so this kind of is telling you about that. And then your tracking pages have where you can write in what Nutrisystem food you ate for breakfast, and then your power fuel or protein drink, which is a protein, the power fuel is some type of protein food. Um, and then for lunch again, and then you have your smart carbs for your snack, which could be fruit, yogurt, stuff like that. Um, and then tracking for vegetables, water, is this resource guide, which I've heard you only get on your first month because you don't need it and it goes through the entire program success stories pretty much everything you need to know plus just extra stuff to read so the top layer is got some pillows is um, orange is lunch blue is breakfast and purple is it says desserts but really it's snacks because like this is popcorn it's got salty and sweet snacks you can choose from I did not do any of the frozen foods I just did the shelf stable foods I also did where I can customize and I chose all my own foods you can do it a little bit cheaper by having them select what they call like basically favorites customer favorite foods and that's what they send you. So this is the top layer. It's got some lunches, breakfast, and desserts. Lunches and more lunches. Apparently I got a lot of stuff in these little containers. Um, and dinners. Dinners and dinners. Okay, so here is all of my food stacked up. That's my month's worth of food from Nutrisystem. And then, like I said, I'll add some protein and fruits and carbs to it just to round out my nutrition. Okay, so right here up front is desserts and snacks. Got salty snacks, like this is popcorn, and this is in a big like normal chip size bag and cheesy puffs trail or not trail mix but zesty herb snack mix like um, Chex Mix this is the honey honey mustard pretzel bits this was a substitution because I don't like tortilla chips so I know that this was a substitution for something but it was only one the chocolatey nougat bar a pret chocolatey pretzel bar, just little chocolate discs, chocolate covered pretzels, this was also a substitution because I didn't get any cookies, and so were these, but that's fine, you know, no big deal, carrot cake, which is like this long in the package, it's big, <laughs> um, this is a fudge brownie, chocolate cake, and a golden pound cake. These you have once a day as a snack. And all of this is breakfast. And I ordered some stuff not really knowing what to expect. So, you know, whatever. Muffins, muffins, um, a pastry, more muffins because I like muffins, cinnamon buns, scones, cereal. Now, this is something I'll probably not order again. Biscuit and gravy mix, which I, you know, I was unsure of when I ordered it, but it's literally the mix. You have to mix it up and cook it, which in the morning I don't want to have to do, so I'll probably not order that one again. Um, the eggs are dehydrated, and I've heard positive and negative reviews about that, so we'll see. 
the sausage patty, and then honey wheat bagel. And then all the orange is lunch. So, um, chicken soup, beans and ham soup, tortilla soup. Some of them are already in these microwavable cups. Some you have are freeze dried and you have to add water to microwave. Either way, that's fine. They're all very portable, as you can tell. Um, there's a few in packages back here beans and rice, which is. Um, it feels already moistened, like you would just need to microwave it. And then tuna salad back there. And then in red is all my dinners. Pizzas, chicken and dumplings. These are beans, chili with beans and vegetarian chili. Sloppy Joe mix, which is dehydrated. You just add water to it. Um, meatloaf, ravioli, tuna casserole, beef and potatoes, lasagna, and this is one of their new meals, the chicken pot pie, which everybody swears is awesome. Um, you can take the crust and put it, you can take the crust and put it in the toaster to keep it kind of crispy and keep it from being soggy. There's also beef patties, flame broiled and hickory smoke, which are also freeze, freeze dried, add water to it, it says. Remove from tray, fill with boiling water, let stand two minutes. And everybody says that these are actually really good. Mac and cheese with beef, and then just plain mac and cheese. So, um, I don't think I had any substitutions on my dinners. Um, I don't really think so on my lunch either. I haven't looked at the paper, but I'm pretty sure I ordered all this stuff. On the breakfast, the same thing. I think I ordered and got everything I ordered. As I fix some of these meals and try them out, I will post pictures on my Facebook page or make a little collaborative video of multiple meals and put up videos so you can see.